is for you the need to pay but you might have feel there is ways to pay oh, oh, oh. there is healing deliverance freedom from hosts of satan CK Gospel to every creature. Good evening, everyone. Your time has come. My time has come. When a man is filled with the word of God, you cannot keep him still. The power of God orbited around Zambia, and there were many divine encounters with God through his anointed servant, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi. There was salvation galore. The oppressed were set free and the captives were loosed. Now, that same mighty power of God is here in the heartbeat of the nation, Edo State, Nigeria. For there are many divinely quickened souls who need to know the power of those commanding words. Loose him and let him go. Get ready to feel this aura of freedom and like Lazarus, all the dead parts in your life will come alive and all grave clothes shall be unbounded. It is a time to experience God in a wholesome, an unconventional, and an awesome way. Welcome to the weekly announcements. We have an exciting lineup of events and activities. First up, we have the highly impactful GCK. Global Crusade with Kumuyu program. You can tell me you've not heard about it. The Impact Academy. This academy equips youths with the tools and knowledge to make a positive change in their lives and make a lasting impact for Christ in their communities. For our esteemed ministers, we have the upcoming Ministers and Professionals Conference. This conference is a unique platform where ministers and professionals from different backgrounds and denominations come together to glean wisdom, share experiences, and receive fresh insights for their pastoral and leadership roles. Tune in to GCK Daily for daily devotionals and insightful messages from Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi. Experience the power of transformation through our impact sessions designed to empower youth for a life of purpose and influence. Don't forget to check out TKC, The King Circle. A vibrant and interactive online community where you can connect with fellow believers, join engaging discussions, and access valuable resources to strengthen your faith journey. Stay tuned to GCK TV and GCK Radio for uplifting sermons, worship sessions, and inspiring testimonies. 
for those with the heart for global missions. We are thrilled to announce our Global Missions Immersion Program, GMIP. This program offers a life-changing opportunity to experience firsthand the transformative power of missions. As we reach out to those in need, Your time has come. My time has come. When a man is filled with the word of God, you cannot keep him still. The power of God orbited around Zambia, and there were many divine encounters with God through his anointed servant, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumi. There was salvation galore. The oppressed were set free and the captives were loosed. Now, that same mighty power of God is here in the heartbeat of the nation, Edo State, Nigeria. For there are many divinely freaking Missouri who need to know the power of those commanding words. Loose him and let him go. Get ready to feel this aura of freedom and like Lazarus, all the dead parts in your life will come alive and all grave clothes shall be unbounded. It is a time to experience God in a wholesome, an unconventional and an awesome way. Jesus' name we pray. Jesus made a declaration. He said, lose him and let him go. And today, that same word is coming to you. Lose him and let him go. Today, you are loose. Today, you are loose. Your spiritual life is loose. Your physical head is loose. Your career is loose. Your marriage is loose. Your destiny is loose. Your success is loose. Your promotion is loose. Open your mouth and begin to declare it. Begin to declare it. Begin to declare it. Begin to declare it. Yes. Yes. You are loose. You are loose. That is why you are here. That is why you are here. That is why you are here. I can see everything turning around for your good. I can see the blind eyes being opened. I can see the leg walking. I can see the deaf hearing. Because every bondage is broken and loose. name we pray. The Bible says it is the will of God that all men be saved. If you only come to a program, you are healed, you are delivered, and you are not saved from sin. It's not complete. Salvation is paramount. Very, very fundamental. We are going to pray every sinner, every fornicator, every adulterer, every cheater, Anyone that, is that comes here to the program of joining us in any location or through social media, God will save them in Jesus' name. Shall we pray? Every sinner shall be saved. Every sinner shall be saved.
In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray to in this program, we will experience unusual miracles. We are going to experience unprecedented miracles. Signs and wonders we are never had. We are never even know. God will perform them. The Lord will do them. Because he's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we think, all we know. Shall we pray? Great miracles. Earth shaking miracles. Life transforming miracles. Life recovery miracles. Healings of all kinds. Deliverances of all kinds. Victory of all kinds. The barren with a strength to conceive. The one whose womb was dead, he shall come forth. Any organ in the body, be it kidney, be it liver, whatever it may be, that have gone dead, God will resurrect them. God will quicken them. Bring them back to life. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's pray for Father the Lord, whom God will be using the convener of the program, that tonight and throughout the period, God will give you uncommon anointing, global anointing, that while ministers here all over the world, signs and wonders begin to happen. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray for the man of God. The convener of the program. The Lord we are anointing supernaturally. More than ever before. The liberty to minister. The grace to minister. The ocean to minister. God will bestow upon his life. We will experience unusual miracles today. In Jesus' name, we pray. All other officiating ministers, all the moderators, overseers, and all of them, even the gospel artists who we sing, and members of the choir, the orchestra, the instrumentalists, God will anoint all of them. Open your mouth and begin to pray. God will anoint all of them. God will anoint all of them. He will make them his mighty vessels. He will speak through them to bless everyone. Jesus' name we pray. We want to commit all our gadgets, all the equipments, all the electronic, technical, uh, media, ICT, transmission equipment in this place. We want to soak them with the blood of Jesus Christ. We want to decree that we all portion to the glory of the Lord. There will be no malfunction of anything. All the generator, everything will work well to God's glory. Open your mouth and pray. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. They are arena with the blood of Jesus. We soak everywhere with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Lastly, any contending power that want to contend against the program, we command them to scatter. Let them go back to open your mouth and pray. Take the authority in the name of Jesus. Fine. Any power that wants to oppose, God will paralyze them. God will frustrate them. Jesus. 
Jesus' name we pray. Shout the tongue, Jairus, amen. Thank you, Father, because we believe you are here. You are here to do us good. You are here to bless our lives. And Lord, we are available. We are praying, Lord, all the blessings you are loaded down for us. Holy Ghost, release upon us in Jesus' name. Everyone that step in here is in for signs of God. Is in for miracles. Is in for power. And all over the world where people are gathered or connected to social media, let your power reach unto them all in Jesus' name. And not all your servants. Use them for your own glory. Thank you, Lord, for the answer prayers. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. A louder amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus amen. Amen. And it's time to lose him and let him go. Jesus. Please call the call.
the Lord. For those of you who have testimony to share tonight, just quickly come to the left hand side here and you will be given opportunity to share your testimony. The Lord has brought us here today, the very first day of this great crusade. Lose him, let him go. Again, Shout it louder. That's why we are gathered here together today, being the first day of this six days crusade. Today, 26th Thursday, all through till next week, Tuesday, 31st of October. The Lord has given us a promise in His Word. And what the Lord has promised is what he will do. I'm reading in Psalm 145 and in verse 3. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. And his greatness is unsearchable. The greatness of Jehovah God is unsearchable. And that greatness the Lord will manifest beginning from today. All through till Tuesday next week. As you come here every day, 5 p.m. Rise up as we close our eyes and pray to God in heaven. Almighty God and Father, the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, eternal, immortal, invisible, the God who is able to do according to his promise. We are here today. Everyone looking up to you right from the Alpha location here all through the countries in Africa, Europe, and all over the world. Father, we pray great and mighty things you will do beginning from tonight in Jesus' name. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will touch you. The Lord will heal you. The Lord will deliver you. The Lord will save you. And there will be a reconciliation between you and the Lord in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. Take all the praise and glory, dear Father. In Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Look at your program there. Page two of your program. We are singing the first song there. Christ Jesus hath the power. The power to forgive. The power to quicken whom he will. And make the sinner live. Christ Jesus hath the power. Oh, tell it far and near. Who oh, bring to him your guilty card, and grace would banish fear. Christ Jesus.
had the power, the power to renew, the power to cleanse your heart from sin and make you whole, holy, true. Christ Jesus got the power forevermore to keep. Or, oh, none can pluck you from his hand or rob him of his sheep. Christ Jesus had the power, the power to console, the power to carry all your care. On him, your body in rule. Christ Jesus got the power to wipe the tear away. Oh, place in him your confidence. Oh, trust him and obey. Christ Jesus had the power. The power to destroy. The power to bruise your enemy. Who would your soul annoy? Christ Jesus had the power. When on your dying bed. To give your soul the victory, the power to raise the dead. Christ Jesus had the power, the power of God, he will. Christ Jesus had the power, my heart surrender yields. Christ Jesus had the power, I trust him evermore. Christ Jesus had the power, I worship and adore.
seven things. Lord, as we pray, Lord, honor your word. Honor your, your promises. In line with promises. your will for our lives, do great things here this evening. Do great things everywhere in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, we want to pray for the nations of the world. We are praying in line with the theme of this month's edition of GCK. This month's lose him and let him go. Nations of the world, nations of the world tied with different kinds of bondages. With satanic bondages affecting governance and governments, affecting economies, affecting and run slow, and the people are set free. The people now, therefore, open your mouth, and therefore, lift up your voice unto God and pray. Peace unto God that wherever in any nation, in any people nation, are held captive and hostage. God, through our prayers, your prayers, and my prayers, your prayers, will set them loose. Will set them free. Will grant unto them even now and their unto desired them desired freedom and victory over the Freedom. Pray. Pray. Pray with fervency. Let your expectation match with your fervency. Let your fervency show. You expect to show great things from the law. Law. In front of me there, and going through down to the very back, and going left and right of this and right gathering. gathering. I want to hear you pray. You pray. God wants to hear your prayers from of the world. In all the continents, across the globe, no nation will be left of the world. In all the continents, across the globe, no nation will be left out. No nation will be excluded from the power of God to set loose, to set at liberty those who are bound no matter the kind of bondage. Economic bondage, political bondage, satanic bondage, bondage to tradition, bondage to idolatry. Let the power of God, through our prayers, set them loose now across the globe in the entire world. Pray now. Every participant connected everywhere must feel, must experience the impact of this day's crusade. All the desired blessing. Because you and I are praying, the people will receive from the Lord. Pray in faith. For God will answer prayers. Your prayers, my prayers, God is answering even now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The success of this crusade depends on our prayers. But not only that, it depends on other areas of ministry beyond the ministry of prayers. We have the singing ministry. We have the ministry of the word of God. We have other forms of ministry that are joined together to give the success we need. So now I want to pray for other ministers starting with the singing ministry, 
involving those who lead congressional songs and the Alpha Location Choir, as well as the Global Choir, choir from the nations. Let's pray now that as the minister in songs, God will use their ministry to touch lives, to bring about conviction. Also, the music minister, as he ministers in songs, God, through the songs, and as we all sing together with him, will do great, great things in our midst this very day. Remember, this is the first day, the first night, and we're expecting God to do great things. Every area of ministry, including the Ministry of Communication, all the gadgets that helps us connect across the globe, that God will use them, working perfectly to communicate the word of God effectively. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now the convener of GCK, our own father in the Lord, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi. He is the main minister, ministering through the word, the word of God that is powerful. The power through the word will go through him to reach souls, to bring about conviction. And I'm sure he's fully loaded this evening. Loaded with anointing. Loaded with power. Loaded with love for the multitudes. In pains that needs deliverance. But he needs grace. We are what we are by the grace of God. So now I want to ask the Lord to increase his grace upon his life. To so make him sharp instruments with teeth to tear every bondage, every yoke, yoke of idolatry, yoke of tradition, yoke of sexual bondage, yoke affecting economic problems, that God will use the word coming from him to bring about great, great miracles. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our God and our Father, we thank you so much for the privilege of prayers. We have prayed unto you with all our hearts. We have prayed unto you with expectation. And Lord, touching every area of our prayers, we are confident our prayers are answered. Especially, Lord, for your servant, we ask, Lord, as he speaks your word today, great shall be the fulfillment and great shall be the miracles for the glory of your name and for our blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. I welcome you to this Global Crusade October edition that is starting today all through to Tuesday next week. And by the grace of God, the man of God is on ground already and seated just to let you know, he's on ground. We're coming back to do a formal introduction. I just give you that information. Because of the question a lot of people have been asking. 
and is here too with our beloved mother. We're coming back to the introduction. We know that the Lord has brought us together here today. And the Lord has promised to do great things. And that great thing, we will see it with our eye. We're going to experience it. The Lord has been doing it. And is doing it. And tonight, God will do greater things. Say amen to that. We have quite some personalities here tonight. On this ground, they have come from different parts of the state. Some are here in Benin City, while some are outside Benin City, but still within the state. I just want to tell you that we have our beloved can chairman in the state, in the person of Dr. Omoike. Please stand up for recognition. You are welcome. God bless you. We also have a chairperson of Khan in the, pres in the person of Mama Margaret Agboifo. That's the PFN chairperson in the state here. We have other dignitaries as well. Engineer Okuo, please, if I don't pronounce your name properly, pardon me because the writing here is not too clear. Engineer Okuo representing the Otaru of Igara. Can you stand up for recognition? The Lord bless you. You are welcome. We have Sovio Joseph Gomina in Otaru's um, entourage. I hope I'm correct. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. Sir Humphrey Best Iriabe. That's the director of ecumenism of Khan in the state here. Can you stand up for recognition? The Lord bless you. We have Reverend Dr. Kalu Odo. Can you stand up for recognition? You are welcome. The Lord bless you. We have Sylvester Iruba Chief Obasuyi. I think you are welcome. We have Pastor Mrs. Esoya Ojo. You are welcome. We have Reverend Anthony David Ojo, PFN Ego Sheman. You are welcome. We have Reverend Emmanuel Ada, PFN of Via Northeast Sheman. You are welcome. We have Pastor Magnus C. Uzoma, PFN Oluku Coordinator. You are welcome. We have Justice V.O. A Borime Kai Court Benin City. You are welcome. We have Reverend Joshua Eki Ojade PFN Strokan. You are welcome. Justice UI Irame Kai Court Ekboma. You are welcome. We have Professor MJ Irame University of Benin. You are welcome. We have Apostle, Apostle Dr. Eunice. You are welcome. We have Rev Reverend Phil Aroje, Khan Director, Youth Wing. Am I right? Phil Aroje. You are welcome. We have the Chairman and the Chairman of Landlords and Landlady of Ekewa Road. You are welcome. We have Anthony Pius. You are welcome. We have Apostle Omokafi Kolawale, Chairman of uh, Youth Wing of Khan. I hope I'm correct. We have Apostle Sylvester Ibosele Khan, Admin Secretary. You are welcome. We have Pastor Bode Olojede 
uh, regional pastor, redeemed Christian Church of God. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. We are Pastor Tua Bobo Amos, pastor in charge. I beg your pardon. The writing there is not clear. You are welcome. God bless you. We have chief. Is it a Dionwe of Udo Iase representative? You are welcome. We have um, somebody again from Udo. You are welcome. I want to specially welcome every one of you to this global crusade. You are all important. You have come to receive from the Lord. And I'm telling you tonight, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. I say the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. You have come and God will surprise you. You will receive your miracles. You'll receive your blessings. You'll receive your healings and deliverances. And the Lord will touch you personally in a special way in Jesus' name. But now listen to the choir from the nations. He has done indeed great and marvelous things as we gather month after month in the presence of these global crusades. We know the Lord is not tired of blessing us and we will never tire of receiving from him. We've seen him move in mighty ways in response to our worship and sacrifice of praise. As Psalm 22, 3 boldly proclaims, God does indeed inhabit the praises of his people. So join me as we sing for joy and welcome the wonderful psalmists and singers from nations and states and regions across the world. I am certain you will get your miracle tonight.
saw him in the crowd that was gathered. And they said to him, stretch forth thine hand. With his trembling, without hands, he reached for the Lord. And in that moment, his hand was healed. And we sword, stretch forth thine hands, says the Master. Understand that is a miracle waiting. Stretch forth thy hand when you are reaching up, just trying to touch the Lord. And it seems like your prayers are in vain. Just hold on to His promise. Be there for you, for there's never been a problem that he can see you through. Stretch for thy hand, says the master. All he says is one simple act of faith. When your hopes and dreams are with us. To understand there is a miracle waiting, stretch for thy hand, reach out and touch the Lord as He passes by. You see, it's not so busy to hear your heart cry, reach out. And such the Lord as He passes by, reach out. And such the Lord as He passes by, you see it's not so easy to hear. Your heart's cry, reach out. And such the Lord as He passes by, when your hopes. And dreams are withered, and life is hard to understand. There is a miracle waiting. Stretch forth thy hand, thy hand. Oh, my. 
I couldn't talk to anybody, but I had a literal group of students in the scripture union. I could talk to those one because they were in my mathematics class. And since I taught them mathematics, I thought I could as well teach them the scripture. Apart from that, I could not talk to anybody. But one day, I just realized, ah, what's happening to you? Do you know your name? I said, of course I do. What's your name? I said, William. What does William mean? Somebody who went into the dictionary of names and he said defender of the faith and the defender of the faith mute and not say anything but one day I said all the fear no more I talked to myself I said all the cowardice no more and then I got up. talking to people and I saw somebody that was paralyzed and the mother was dancing around a port turned upside down. What is this? What is this? this is my God. You call this a God? Yes. This pot? Yes. Turned upside down? Ha ha. Uh -uh. My fathers have been serving this before I was born. And I asked the woman, I said, what are you doing? She said, I'm worshipping my God. I said, this is your God? The porch turned upside down? He said, yes. I said, okay, see what your God has done to your child. See Seven what your God has done to your son. Her allies, six years of age, had never moved. I said, I will pray to my God. You will make your child rise up. Remember, I didn't have all that boldness before, but now I am the whosoever. And so I said, take off that pot, smash it on the ground, destroy it. He said, what? I said, I will pray for your child. Your child will get up. She said, pray for my child first, and then I will break the pot. What if I break the pot and my child does not rise up? And then I've lost on both sides. I said, Madam, I'm a teacher. Uh -huh. And I said, Teacher, the students don't tell me the curriculum I teach. Oh, really? I decide the curriculum I teach. Oh. So you break the pots, and I will pray for your son, and your son will walk again. And are you assuring me of this? Yes. You are sure? You break the pots. See? And I pray for your son. If you know who I am, you would not tell me this. But you have come with a command. Yes. I've come with the power of the Most High God. And I will obey. And when I pray in his name, your son will walk again. Should I put my faith in you? Put your faith. Or in whatever God you say you God, serve. The Lord Jesus Christ. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm.
And so she took the pot, and the pot was empty. There was nothing in her but an empty God. much teeth on the ground and then I come to the boy I didn't even touch the boy I said boy in the name of Jesus rise up and walk And by the way, I didn't need to understand their language. There was no interpreter. It was not a crusade. I was speaking English, and the boy did not understand the English, but I still, because it's not the boy that will confirm the word. He doesn't need to understand. It's God that will confirm the word, and God understands English perfectly well. And he stood up like I'm standing up. And he began to walk what he had never done before. Why did God do that? Not because of me, who am I? Because whosoever. Amen. We're ready for testimony tonight. But before we go on to take the testimony, I want to introduce to you our beloved mother, Mama Esther Kumui. She's right here with us. Mama, you are welcome. We are happy to see you and receive you here in the state. This is our beloved mother. God bless you, ma. You are welcome. Now we go on. Let me just tell you this. We have a very striking testimony. And we have the testifier right before us here. And we want him to share his testimony of what the Lord has done for him. And through this testimony tonight, the Lord will bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Dr. Samuel Oshashona, a medical practitioner. Standing here with me is Mr. Paulinius Ifarume. He has a testimony to share concerning what God did for him and his family after the prayer of the man of God. He will introduce himself now, share his testimony. Please, let's listen to him. Please, sir. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord! My name's are Paulinus Ifarume. I'm from Ewotubu Group of District, Children Medical Center. By the grace of God, I'm born again. 
I'm giving a testimony of my son that survived a crash. In fact, uh, this, this testimony, I want it to be global. That is why I reserve it today. Uh, to today. My son went for a solo flight with the company that he's working with. At the end of it all, he was already on the air. One of the engines of, uh, of the plane, air, uh, of the aircraft, busted on the air. And the engine started burning. He burned, and inside the aircraft, everywhere was hot, according to my son. He, he was looking for a place to crash land. There was not. He called in, uh, the nearest uh, airport, and he crash landed. They prepared a, way, uh, a, a place for him, and he crash landed. At the end of it all, he said when he got down, he jumped out of uh, the aircraft, and nothing hurt him at all. Yeah. Where this testimony comes from is that, well, I want to give you one advice that if uh, you receive a prayer, please share the, the blessing among your people. I went to DLCC to go and uh, work. I went there as a volunteer. When we, the, uh, the project, we were about to complete it, but we couldn't do it. And the GS said that Pro, that uh, uh, conference must hold. Then, about a few days to the time of uh, the conference, our leader, Pastor Dada, he called me. He said, the way Pastor prayed for us today, he said he has never prayed like that. That he want this, uh, this particular project to be, uh, to be completed so that they will be able to hold that uh, conference. He prayed, he said he prayed. I called uh, Pastor Dada. I said, well, I said, this one that the pastor has prayed for us, I said, for me, I share my, uh, my blessing among all my children and my family. So at the end of it all, when he told me that uh, he jumped out of the aircraft and everything was, uh, you know, bunny, I remember, I said, look, that is the work of God. That... When you are inside the aircraft, I say at the moment that engine got burst, already God has already sent his uh, angel to, uh, to pilot the plane. That is how he gets down. As when you say you jump down, you never jump down. Now God carry you and put you on the ground. So you cannot, because when you see the height of the air, uh, aircraft, you didn't use a, a parachute, you, you have not used anything, then you came down like that. You I, I, I told my son, my son, I said, did you think that it's so easy like that for someone to jump down from the airport, uh, from the airplane? So that is how he came down. I said, God has did, did everything and carried my son and dropped it down without hurt. So that is what God has done for me. Praise the Lord. Anytime you get a prayer, a serious prayer, please don't forget to share the blessing among your people. I've shared my own. This one happened uh, first week to uh, to first week of August, and this particular incident happened on the twenty first of August. You can see that I've re all my blessing that I've spread over my family through the prayer of. Uh, our general who pretended he has gone to them, and we are all free in Jesus' name. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Praise Put the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. Lose him. Lose him. Lose him. We're going to listen to another testimony online. I was born with my left hand twisted. Because of that, my parents flew me to London for a surgery. After that, it became worse. We observed 
that my left hand was shorter than the other. While growing up, I had insecurities with my hand, especially while taking pictures, and it was constantly painful. My name is Christiana Agwede and I'm excited to be a partaker of God's miracle at the GCK in Zambia. During the GCK in Zambia, Pastor Kumi mentioned a case of short leg growing out. Then I quietly prayed for my own case to be mentioned. The next day, surprisingly, he mentioned my own case. Stretch up hands, withered hands, short hands, grow out now in Jesus' name. I prayed to God while the prayers were going on. I did not check it until we got back to the hostel. Then I checked it. I was unsure. I checked it again. Then I checked it again. Then I asked my roommate if she noticed if my hands were equal. Then she answered, yes, looking at me with confusion, not knowing what was going on. From that moment, I got my miracle. Praise the Lord, the Lord has given me my miracle. My hands are equal now, praise the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. Lose him. Lose him. Tonight you will clap for yourself. Because the hour is coming. You will not clap for somebody else. You will clap for yourself. The Lord will do your own. Alpha Location Choir. Quickly. 